Hi guys, I'm back with my next pre low Liars review. Yes, I am on time this time. Just saying. Um, please ignore the blanket. Ignore my pajamas. It is snowing outside. It is cold and I'm just comfortable right now. So I hope y'all don't mind that. Uh, I'm just going to get into a few things very quickly. First of all, this episode was okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, actually, I haven't really truly been the biggest fan of this season so far, to be honest. There are certain things that are going on that are just kind of getting on my last nerve, and this episode got on my last nerve. Anyway, let's just get into what I wanted to get into, which is the entire episode. Yeah, that wasn't awkward at all. Anyway, point is, Okay, so the girls are driving to the Busy Bee Inn because they are so certain that Allison is going to be there. They get there, they can't find her, the door behind them closes a little bit, and there's a message that says, You're too late. A. <clears throat> okay, lo and behold, Allison is not there. No freaking surprise. Next, Spencer will not let the whole her dad and Allison's mom thing go. She will not. Apparently, he tells her this story about Jason and about how he's in rehab, he got hurt, and all this mess. And then, you know what, I'm just going to stick with Spencer's dad and continue with that. Um, he tries to get Toby to sign a document stating that, it's like a gag order, stating that Toby will never bring up what happened to his mom ever again. Spencer finds this out. She tries to stop Toby from signing the document. Toby does not... Uh, well, he doesn't get the message in time. He does sign it, and he said that he talked to his dad, and he, they're just to the point where they're, um, you know, they're like, you know what, it doesn't matter if she fell. It doesn't matter if somebody pushed her. What happened, happened. It is what it is. Um, Spencer is really, kind of really pushing with this, and honestly, I feel like if that's what Toby says, then... Spencer needs to just back off a little bit. How do y'all feel about that? Just let me know. Ezra. Whew. Let's just stick with him right now. Okay. So we talked about Toby and his drama. And Spencer and her dad and all that stuff. And also, one last thing. Apparently, Allison's mom is on the board at Radley. Okay. I completely forgot that for whatever reason. But. Okay. Let's get into Ezra. Ezra He's been on full creepy mode this entire season so far. Um, he basically is saying things like Arya needs to pretty much break up with Jake, which she does, which pisses everybody off because I was on Twitter, and let me tell you something, we were not a happy group of people. We were not. Jake, he's heartbroken. Arya, you know, gets a gift from Jake, and then she goes to return it. Now, Jake actually witnesses Ezra yelling and screaming and cussing. Well, he wasn't cussing. In my mind, he was cussing. He could have been. Who knows? Um, at a blonde girl in a car. And she drives off and all that stuff. So Jake witnesses that. He tries to tell Arya. Arya goes and talks to Ezra. As soon as she said something, I wanted to go through the TV and strangle her. Because, and I know that's very harsh, but I'm thinking to myself, obviously she's in denial about Ezra being crazy. But we all know, Ezra is crazy. Ezra is A. And Jake is going to get hurt. And Jake did get hurt. He was exercising, he was working out. Very, very nice body, by the way. I, I'm not going to lie. He had his shirt off and I was like, ooh, honey work it boo and anyways there was the punching bag that he's had since I think he said he was like 15 years old it's kind of like a good luck charm type of a thing type of a thing he goes to kick the punching bag and there's like I couldn't tell if it was glass or a knife I'm pretty sure it was glass punctures his left foot and I'm just thinking to myself that darn Ezra so Jake gets hurt and then I had the biggest epiphany after the episode went off. You guys remember when Hannah's mom almost caught Ezra not being where he was supposed to be and being up in Hannah's room? I couldn't help but think to myself, if she had caught Ezra, would Ezra have done something to her? Then I began to think, well, how long has Ezra been 
A or been on the A team because the moms and the parents have been going through their own little things sometimes with A also. So I'm just thinking to myself, well, you know, if Hannah's mom had gotten hurt, I wouldn't have been surprised, but I feel like with Ezra, that's just hitting way too close to home. Not that saying that what happened to Jake wasn't a bad thing, but okay, y'all get what I'm saying. I'm rambling too much. Let me continue with this review. I am all over the place. Hannah, she's giving away a lot of her clothes. She's upset over Caleb. Travis comes over. They play some pool. Hannah puts the licky licky smacky smacky on him. And next thing you know, Hannah's mom walks in, catches them. And then Hannah's mom takes her to this place where you throw plates at a wall to release your aggression and release your anger. And Hannah, you know, she thanks her mom for doing that. Then Hannah calls up Caleb and leaves him a message and, you know, says, hey, you know, this was the best year of my life. And, you know, I've been thinking about the last few weeks and we're trying to pinpoint where things went wrong. So she, you know, Hannah's, she's getting there, kind of, sort of. I don't know. Uh, Emily, she goes to the church. She hears some noise. Now, of course, whenever the girls are alone, are alone they hear some noise. It's Shauna. Shauna comes back and delivers a message to Emily from Allison. Apparently, Allison wants to meet up with Emily. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh, Lordy, please don't. And Shauna reveals that she lived next door to Allison's grandparents in Georgia, and she and Allison have known each other for a very, very long time. Well, Spencer talks to Emily. Well, actually, Emily talks to Spencer. And they discuss Emily possibly going to meet up with Allison. Spencer thinks it's a terrible idea. She doesn't believe it's really Allison. Emily goes. It is Allison. And they talk because um, Allison says that Emily was always her favorite and she doesn't trust Aria, Spencer, and Hannah. Well, Spencer shows up. And as soon as I saw Spencer, I was like, you idiot. But Spencer was worried. She was trying to be a good friend. She was convinced that Emily was getting herself into a position that she should not be in. And Allison runs away because Allison now feels betrayed by Emily. Say, basically, why would you go and talk to somebody else when this was just between you and me? And Emily's freaking out because she's thinking to herself, Allison's never going to trust me again. So, oh, you know. And I think I got pretty much everything. Yeah. So, now, for things I would like to talk about. I actually wrote this down, like my future predictions for the show, and it's crazy because as soon as I wrote down this prediction, it happened. And my prediction was, Jake is going to get hurt. It happened. So, my prediction was technically right. So, hopefully, um, I hope Aria comes to her senses because, now, if any of you have been watching my videos long enough, you know Hannah will get on my last nerve, okay? I was not Team Hannah. I've never been Team Hannah. But now I am like anti-Aria right now because I just keep thinking to myself, Boo-Boo, how could you be so blind? First of all, here's my thing. I would never tell the guy who told me to break up with my boyfriend so I could be with him that the guy that he wanted me to break up with saw him yelling, screaming at some girl, regardless of if I know it or not, because he's a guy that wants me to break up with a guy I'm already with so I can be with him. Something, I mean, the gears need to start turning a little bit more with Aria because I'm just thinking to myself, Ugh, don't fall into that trap, but y'all, she fell into that trap, and I am just, whew, honey, mm. Uh, and I, here's my thing. I'm just happy regardless that somebody did see Ezra acting out. Now, mind you, he did get hurt, but I'm really happy that someone at least finally caught him being creepy. Regardless of anybody believes Jake or not, I'm just really happy that somebody finally, finally, um, sees Ezra for who he really is. And, of course, Jake doesn't know that he's A, but... That's just completely out of Ezra's character, and I'm really happy that somebody has finally um, seen that. Do I have any more predictions? Um, Shauna? I'm not really 100% sure. Oh, one last thing I want to talk to talk about with Shauna. Um, 
Jenna. Apparently, Allison wanted Shauna to be closer to Allison's enemies to try and see what was going on. Because Emily brought up, well, what about you and Jenna? Y'all were so close. And basically, Shauna says, keep your enemies closer. Okay? So... Things are just uh, crazy. I, I just do not know. Spencer's dad. No. No, 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 no. I just... <sighs> Spencer's dad has always rubbed me the wrong way. Always. At, like, always. I don't... Has he always rubbed y'all the wrong way, too? Has he? If not, it's okay. But I'm just saying. I don't know. He seems a little bit too... Like, cautious. He seems a little bit too, like... I don't want to say jumpy, but there's another word I'm looking for, but I just can't think of it right now. He's, he's too something, which is making me start to believe that something else is going on with him. He's being a little bit too secretive. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. There it is. He's being too secretive. And I don't like that. Which makes no sense because this show is called Pretty Little Liars. But anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. Um, from the preview for next week's episode... Um, Mona, she acting a little strange now. She's acting strange. I still don't trust her. I don't. I don't know. Yes, she's done good, and she's also done evil. Does, I mean, here's my opinion. If you've ever done evil, you can relapse, okay? I'm just saying. Alright, guys. I have no idea what else I can talk about. I honestly do not. Um, I have no more predictions. Um, I do feel like, okay, maybe one more prediction. Allison is going to try and reach out again. I have a strong feeling that she will. Because, let's be real, if she has been hiding out this entire time, if, she, if she's really that scared of somebody, she's going to reach out again. We all know this, okay? There's no doubt in my mind that Allison is going to try. There's no doubt in my mind. Who is going to be with? I don't know. Maybe, I mean, if she truly does care about Emily the way she says she does, then maybe Emily will be that person. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments section. And, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I will see you in next week's episode, or I'll see you in a video before then, because I'm still trying to figure out what other stuff y'all want to see. I mean, I'm just being real. So leave that in the comment section too. And if you are new to my channel, and if you are new to this whole Pre Little Liars experience with yours truly, Miss Courtney, honey, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let's get to know each other, and I will see you all later. Take care.